Hello everybody and like to say welcome to, uh, what can I say, being retired, being in the Philippines, about to uh, burn some chicken on the grill and say this video is brought to you by Red Horse. <laughs> Just a little comic relief. Well, I got the grill here set up, about to start a fire and barbecue some more uh, chicken is what my son is bugging me about since we got here and um, everything is going good we've been here a little more than two weeks now permanently living here and uh, things are going very good so it's a very warm day what's today Friday so um Excuse me if I don't know the the date. Maybe it's the 17th, 18th, I don't know. I get I have to look on my phone all the time. But things are going pretty good. Uh, as far as the truck that we're trying to get, um, we're still waiting for the money to transfer. I appreciate the advice that I got from, from a friend of mine. On switching to another bank was that RSBC would be a lot faster so I was saying we should have checked that out first now the money is out of my bank account out of my stateside bank account it hasn't made it to BDO yet it's somewhere floating in cyberspace so we're still checking every day to see when that money transfer we shipped a little more so we could buy a few things so now that I see how long that takes I need to have a jump on transferring money or find another bank to do it but it'll be here and you know what we got time so it ain't that bad so I got my backdrop of coconut and banana trees here in the garden and haven't started the grill yet, but I will because the grandbabies will be here soon. Well, we got a little time before they show up. My daughter's still working. She's a nurse and she'll be off around five. So I got a couple hours to get this going. So other than that, everything is going really good. I'm enjoying the retired life. Being out of the rat race is really something and really would help me make a big adjustment without being bored is packing up your whole life moving from Germany to the Philippines so um, we still got a few projects to do on the house that's one guy said that you have a house you never ever really finish doing anything because there's always something to do and uh, it's, this has been a long time coming we do see minor repairs we have to do to the original part plus some stuff that that's messed up that we have to repair anyway but I expected that so um, life is wonderful uh, of course I can't say I'm bored yet because I've only been in Philippines two weeks at the end of this month to be the longest I've ever stayed one time in the Philippines because over the last 14 years I've came once or twice every year to visit and been, I don't know checking on the progress of this house over that time so now I'm truly living here so and we got a few things to do the yard is the yard looks nice it's just empty you know because we're gonna do a few modifications so like I said about the house inside when you see this the house looks big and people say oh it's so huge but there's no furniture inside so everything's look big and lots of echo so we kind of set out, actually this terrace right here, that's caged in, 
This is probably where I spend most of my time is right here. In the morning, it's really nice and cool, but inside there is very warm. My wife had uh, somebody come over this morning. And they specialize in air conditioning. We have, we do have it in a couple of rooms, but of course not the whole house because we wanted to wait till we arrived here to do that. So and they just, they went and checked out every place and few minutes ago they just sent an estimate for the rooms we want done and that's pretty good so we have one of the old style ones in my son's room that thing is very old so we naturally want to get rid of that and put it in one other room we'll do the living room as last it's the biggest room but need to get him a modern one because that old one is costing us a lot of energy but not too much. I have to see what a monthly utility bill is gonna be like in this house, cause we do do a lot of things. And we do stay up late. So we'll see. So I'm gonna take a little break. This has been about six minutes of me chattering to get the fire done and just give y'all an update. And I uh, appreciate the comments. And I do try to answer everybody. You know, I really love the comments, so keep them flowing, keep them, keep them coming. And uh, gotta start this fire and get this chicken on the grill. And I'm asking old Mr. Red Horse to help me out. So I'll get back to you in a little bit. Ciao. So back again in my lovely Asawa sitting down beside me. It's been a long time. So, I have to talk to so just a minute. Just, just a minute. There she is now. She's joining me here at the uh, at the barbecue grill. So always like to include her in. Uh, yeah because it's our channel, okay? Yes. So, what would you like to say? Okay. Hi, everyone. Uh, we are in the Philippines, healing, chilling, relaxing, drinking, eating. <laughs> Together with our son. When we came here, he was big. Now he's so small. And I don't think... <laughs> ah. Oh, well, see, you see that one there? He's trying to see if the chicken's ready. That's all. That's all he came out to see. I think he come to see his parents. He's checking out. <laughs> but anyway, that's who I'm getting the grill ready so, for. So, and did you tell someone how what he did with that banana tree? No, baby. Of course not. No, I just saw it there right now. Okay. This is another um, episode. Let's take a pause. So, folks, checking back in on the grill and got the fire going. With the temperature wise, this thing is very hot. It's like over 300 degrees already. Those Filipino charcoals, you only need to put a little paper on it and fan it and it really burns they really catch on fast so now I just need to grab the uh, meat there's my wife watering the, the trees right along the fence line so I just need to go in here pick up the chicken from the fridge and slap it on. It's a little dark here. But let me grab the meat. We got one bag. And we have a second one that's hiding. So we got a couple of bags of 
on. That we're going to slap on the grill. So let's go back out here. This cat. Just bigs, bigs, bigs. Never know what she wants. You can feed her, feed her, feed her. She's still hungry. Remember, you didn't like me when I got here. Well, now she follows me everywhere. Everywhere. Almost like a dog. So, uh, 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 this is heavy. So it's about 20 pieces of chicken marinating. And I'm gonna put them on the grill. There's one thing, boys, dealing with the heat here. That's something I have to get used to. Very hot. You know, left Germany. It wasn't snowing, but there's a lot of snow now. It was cool. It rained a lot. It was almost, the weather there was almost like fall time. But here is very warm. Like I was telling my wife, I see that. The morning up to mid-afternoon, I am good. But after a while, the heat just drains me. <laughs> it really does. You know, I have to take a shower to get going in the morning. And then take another one in the evening time just to cool off. It's like my biggest challenge is, of course, staying hydrated. <clears throat> which I always knew that. It's always been an issue with me here. And yes, we do have air conditioning in the bedroom, but I don't like it very cold, trying to get used to the heat. So I put it, I turn the temperature up instead of down, so it's just a little cooler than it is outside to try to deal with it. Because we're in the early part of the year. This is like the springtime here hasn't really got, I, I've never been here in the summer times when it's really hot, so we'll see how that goes. As you see, I'm sweating now. So I did part of the work to set up the grill. <clears throat> and um, I was very hot, I had to go take a shower to kind of cool off, refresh myself, and then come back down and finish the rest before the children get here. Or say for the chillin' get here, as we say in the south. So, let me put some meat on the grill so I can cook. Check back in later. So, checking back in on the grill a while later. This is what we have now. Uh, the grill is going good. My wife is just asking me a question. But it's going good. Got my little marinade going in my barbecue helper, which is some beer. So see, just a few little pieces of chicken for us to eat. That'll be enough for the six, seven of us, eight of us. Yes, it'll be eight of us. So going good. Cover this up. So yes, it is very difficult being retired. Working hard here. Feed all these people. Seriously, it's very nice. This morning, what, we got up at six. We even set an alarm, because we had some folks coming over, like I said earlier, to like I had installed an air conditioning in some of the rooms. And, uh, but when we got out, we just sat out on the terrace. That's our favorite spot. Sat outside, it was nice and quiet and cool. Have a cup of coffee and that's what we do our morning chat every morning. To try to figure out what we're gonna do today. Our long list of things to do. And also, uh, we're still waiting on the 
tax revenue, what is it called? The Department of Re Revenue to approve our tax exemption. It's been over a week on that. We haven't heard nothing. Hmm. All, the, all our furnishings coming over, which is not here yet because it's been delayed due to a conflict in the Red Sea. You know, pirates trying to hijack their commercial ves vessels. Everybody seeing how that happened, uh, how that's been going. They got a couple cruise missiles sent to them, but that's another story. I ain't trying to get into politics. So, the House of Goods has been delayed. We had a message to maybe around the 7th of February, but it's okay. It would have already been here had everything went good, but we still don't have it. We still do not have the tax exemption approved. And that's what we are waiting for. So, hopefully we get that any day. And hopefully the money is deposited into the account to get the truck. Nice guy, Toyota, called us yesterday just to get an update. Well, I told him, it's like, dude, if I don't hear nothing, it's, I told him it would be a week. And it's been a week. But waiting on this transaction to go through, it's slow. And like I said, we should have did. We should have checked in this from day one before we decided to make major, major purchases. So, and of course, we're trying to send enough money to where we can make some major purchases after this. Then we have to look at in the future, you know planning when to send money to make sure it's there on time and available. So we'll get to, we'll figure it all out in time because we ain't on nobody time schedule but ours. So no rush. Great time being retired. You know, cooking on the grill. Having a beer. Bought this grill. Man, it's probably maybe more than like it's almost 10 years ago not quite 10 but I would say almost I had it shipped from Germany it's Kingford Grill hold on of course I have another grill coming and a smoker because I want to practice on smoking some meat because I never had a smoker before so I retired I bought myself a lot of things that I never had before because one I got this big old house and all this space and uh, we're gonna have a grill area put over let me flip over here where you see this little Kubo built as it's called we got some old um, leftover building material in there that I told my wife we can definitely use some of those plates and stuff that's stored there to build the flooring but from the house as you see to all the way to the fence line here I want to try to divide that have a walkway to go to the other side of the house but an area that's covered to sit out on here and then the other half maybe two storage rooms because we have a lot of furnishings coming and we don't have no storage area in this house you know you always have a lot of leftover stuff boxes that may take you years to get to so we want to build a nice family area out here with a bathroom outside and a couple storage rooms we're just looking at designs right now have to get that done and maybe a little parking area for a car like where my sister-in-law's car is behind me but on the other side of the house we'll have another area to figure out where I'm gonna park this truck right now we probably just park it right here in the yard where we're at because it's all out 
but we actually built the gate on the other side that we have to figure that one out so I don't want to ramble too long from the barbecue grill spicing up some chicken with a little Tony Chachery and some I use a whole bunch of I don't have all my seasoning here seasonings here so I try to make up something I don't have my Creole seasoning and I found dried onions I can't find that I found powdered onions I don't know how that works but I mix it up in some stuff but dried onions because I like to make up my own rub and I bought a lot this I bought a whole box of seasonings I sent myself just in case I couldn't find what I need in the Philippines I know they have it here I just got to go to the right store to find it you know not fresh onions and not powdered onions I need dried onions for a lot of my stuff that I make up everything else they got here we'll find it so we'll, we'll check back in because I need to check all my chicken and marinate it again so it don't burn so we'll check back in again well I got a little add in on this video decided to since the grandbabies are coming over throw a few little hot dogs on there hot dogs are pretty interesting here they have a plastic sleeve you have to pull off kind of like a hot dog in a condom of sorts don't know why they do that but so let's throw about 10 hot dogs on because it's little kids and they enjoy that so maybe they'll be here within an hour. That's why I'm trying to get everything done. The chicken is ready. Just I can kind of put a little more sauce on it so it don't dry out and just sit there and simmer on top. Do these hot dogs, which won't take long at all. It'll be funny. And something a little interesting my wife was telling me because when we barbecue, folks think we're having a party. And she really had to explain that to the neighbors and such that Americans barbecue all the time. It's just something we do. We'll, we'll barbecue breakfast if we feel like it. And I didn't know that people thought that we were always having a party cause we just barbecue our dinner. But to me, that's what Filipinos always do. And so I fire up the grill in a heartbeat. I didn't think that neighbors thought we were always having a party. We ain't having no party. We're just cooking dinner, just on the grill. I just thought that was a little interesting and strange but getting used to the Philippines <clears throat> so it's just another thing that we just do it's nothing different cause you see the meat on the grill is only enough for hopefully the eight of us and we'll cook a big pot of rice and that always goes well well my wife made potato salad that's what I told her I wanted wish I would have made some baked beans with it, that would have been good. I know we have some, just not a, enough to go around for everybody, especially when the grandbabies come. That won't be enough. So no sense. Because we didn't really plan this. It's a little impromptu. She has started the frosted chicken this morning and asked me to grill it. So I said, you know me, I grill in a heartbeat. I said, yeah. So I'll season it up and there we go. So that was just a little interesting fact saying what people were saying. I didn't really know that that folks here wait till special occasions to have a barbecue, which is like new. 
if the sun's shining, oh, I don't care if it's snowing, you can barbecue. Like, interesting story with that snowing when I was married to my ex. I was married to a German. I was barbecuing one winter. A guy came by and told me, it's not the time, pointing to his watch. I said, not the time for what? To barbecue. You only do that in the summer. I said, you keep thinking that. I said, you can barbecue anytime. The grill don't care that it's snowing. The meat don't care. You know? And I had a good situation there too. Because I had the grill sitting outside of the garage, which I could close the garage, and I had a heater, music, a little space heater inside, music, cooler beer. Just had the grill sitting outside going, it's snowing like crazy. Because the kids, I asked them what they wanted to eat. They said, Dad, barbecue. So I said, Oh, what the hell? It's barbecue. Funny enough, about three years later in the winter, everybody on that street bought barbecue. So, it's not just a special occasion. You can barbecue any time you want to. The grill don't care <laughs> what the weather is. You know, you can be pouring down rain. As long as you can cover the grill and get the, get the fire going, you're good. So, just one of those little facts. So, we'll check back in probably when the grandbabies show up. And I think they're here, maybe. Let's take a look. No, false alarm. It was just somebody turning around in the driveway. I thought. So I will check back in. So the food's ready and the masses are coming. So we got some chicken and hot dogs. My lovely bride is bringing the eating utensils. And my son and his girlfriend, I should say the lovebirds are gracing us because Sophia is hungry. She but I took too long to cook, she's passing out. See, she'd have lost at least 200 grams already. <laughs> so we'll come back in later. Bye. I will give for, for her on her birthday. We should give her her birthday gift. Yeah, we should. And I, and I said, John Young should give his gift too, which is W-A-L-A. Voila, which means nothing. So the family's together. Great day. Give this birthday girl here her gift. Bye.